everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Amy Reads. And today we are going over my favorite things from the month of December. So this one is kind of difficult. Um, I had an okay month. I started out with a lot of, sorry, my, one of my cats is on the floor being exceptionally cute. Um, hi honey. I started out with a lot of Christmas cheer. I was kind of really like, not forcing it, but being conscious of like, let's watch Christmas movies. Let's, you know, do Christmassy things. And I was doing Vlogmas, so it was easy to stay busy. Um, but a few days before Christmas, my grandfather passed away. And um, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know I did post about it. But um, so that kind of, all of it kind of, came out of me, all that Christmas cheer that I had been feeling. Um, and now my grandfather um, was 95 years old. He was, he had lived a very long life, um, but I, you know, it's still very upsetting, whether it's planned or not. No, it was not COVID related, if, if those of you are wondering. Um, but anyway, so, so that happened. So I was grieving, I'm still grieving that. Um, and for my mother and my grandmother and things. So by the time Christmas came around, I wasn't really feeling it. So this month has felt a little strange because now I'm just, I don't know, looking back on it, I'm like, was anything my favorite? But that's not true because the month was filled with a lot of things. Um, and I'm going to start with my favorite book of the month. I don't know which one I'm posting first, if it'll be this or my wrap-up, but if my wrap-up's already gone up and you've watched it, you already know that my favorite book of the month was The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. This is an ARC. Um, actually, this book comes out at the end of the month on January 26th. If you like adult contemporary romance, I'm going to highly suggest this book. Um, this follows Dominic and Shay, who both work in public radio, and because of their antagonistic relationship with each other, they end up um, being assigned to be hosts for the show called The X Talk, where they pretend that they are exes, like the audience thinks they're exes, everyone in the office thinks that they dated, um, and they dole out relationship advice, and the show gets really big, and it's about them trying to cover up this lie while also developing feelings for one another and the romance that happens from there. Um, it is so good, it's very swoony, uh, very funny, uh, very sexy, and I just, it's like, it ticked all of my boxes. I can't wait to get my physical copy, and I'll honestly probably read it again, maybe in like spring or summer when I read a lot of contemporaries. So that was my favorite book of the month. Um, favorite movie, you know what, I'm actually going to look to my letterbox because I don't have, I don't have something specific. I watched so many Christmas movies, um, and most of them were ones I had seen before. So, you know, kind of hard to, I try to stick to things I'd never seen before when I talk about my favorites. If I could click on the right thing. Um, let's see, A Christmas that I ha didn't, oh my god, that movie was so bad. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's mostly stuff I had seen before. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go with... All right, this probably sounds really dumb, uh, but I actually watched Holiday on Netflix. If we're going with something I've not seen, this is not the best movie I have seen this month, by far. I mean, probably the best movie I've seen this month was like It's a Wonderful Life. Um, I also rewatched While You Were Sleeping and The Preacher's Wife. Much better movies. But if we're gonna choose one that I've never seen, which is what I like to do. Um, then I enjoyed Holiday a lot more than I thought I would. This stars Emma Roberts, who I hate, so I was like, mm, don't know if I'm going to like this. I don't know the male uh, love interest name, but this follows two people who are both um, unattached and looking for a way to spend their holidays so that people aren't always trying to hook them up with people. So they decide to be each other's holidays. And so it follows, it starts at Christmas and it ends at Christmas. So uh, it starts one Christmas and then it 
follows like every holiday that they are together. Um, and it's actually really fun despite the fact that I do not like Emma Roberts at all. Um, and the beginning is a little like questionable. I ended up really liking it. And Kristen Chenoweth is in it and she plays a like crazy cougar. And yeah, I think I'll, I'll go with that one. That was definitely not my favorite of the month. But of the ones I'd never seen before, I actually liked it. Favorite TV show. I definitely have a favorite for you. I talked about it in my Tis the Season of Thon vlog because I think that was when we watched it. Or maybe it was just a weekend vlog that I did for Vlogmas. Um, the Undoing on HBO. This is a six episode miniseries uh, starring Hugh Grant and Nicole Kidman and Edgar Ramirez. And oh and Donald Sutherland. And it follows, I'm actually, just, if you don't know anything about it, it's a murder mystery. I thought I knew what it was about. I thought it was like some high profile people get divorced or something. I don't, that's not it. Um, I don't know why that's what I thought when I saw like the pictures, but it is a murder mystery. It kept Scott and I guessing. Like we quite literally probably within about 28 hour span had watched all of them. Uh, it was really hard to like go to bed not having seen the last one because every, the end of every episode ends with like a what the like moment. After you finished, I implore you to go look up the book that it is based on um, because I feel like there are things that don't come across as much in the show that are important to understanding the ending of the show um, that I feel like they probably based on the synopsis, probably played up more in the book, if that makes sense. All I'm saying is go in blind, watch these six episodes. It's, uh, it's not going to have a second season or anything. It's, it's a self-contained story. Six episodes on HBO. Get a free trial of HBO Max if you must. It's that good. So that was one, that was definitely my favorite TV show. Um, we've also been rewatching Bob's Burgers, which is not my official favorite of the month. I've seen Bob's Burgers before. I've seen the first eight seasons. Um, so I've not seen the last couple. So we're actually in our rewatch. We are to almost the end of the eighth season and we're going to get into the, like the new stuff we haven't seen yet, but we've been binging that as well. But the beginning of the month, it was all about the undoing. Uh, let's see food. I actually didn't write all things down. So we're like, we're coming up with stuff on the fly. Food of the month. We did not have a typical Christmas dinner. My mom was not in town for Christmas because her father had passed away. So she was dealing with that. So we didn't have Christmas with her until January. So we didn't have a Christmas spread. I will say, you know what I'm going to say? It was on New Year's Eve. That counts because it's December. Scott and I bought a bunch of like bougie fancy appetizers from Aldi. We had like chicken and pesto blossoms and spinach and feta blossoms and then all these different puff pastry bites that were like Mediterranean vegetable jalapeno which I don't have any of those I'm not a jalapeno fan and spinach feta bacon and then we had some chicken samosas from Trader Joe's. <laughs> so we literally we were like party food it's New Year's Eve we're staying inside. We're not seeing anybody because COVID. Um, and so we were like, let's just make all these appetizers and have like fun appetizers for dinner. We paid the price later because it did upset our stomachs, but they were so good. And there was one, the puff pastry bite that was spinach, feta, and bacon because it had that like probably fake bacon, I guess, in it. It tasted like a bacon, egg, and cheese toaster scrambler. And I don't know if y'all have ever had those. You know the toaster strudels? Well, they have the toaster scramblers, which are the savory ones with like egg and stuff in them. Egg. Um, it tasted so much like a bacon, egg, and cheese toaster scrambler, which it was so good. The chicken samosas were so good. Oh, like I, they're probably only like fancy time food. Like they probably don't carry those year round. But check out your local Aldi. They're, they're good. They're all like frozen. Well, the samosas were from Trader Joe's. So if you have a Trader Joe's in your area, um, my closest Trader Joe's is an hour and a half from me. So I have to make like a pilgrimage. Um, but yeah, those appetizers, that was really fun. And that was some delicious, delicious food. Thing that I did, um, I'm going to say Vlogmas 
because and, and honestly you know what we're gonna combine because this is something I did and this is something new I'd never done vlogmas before um a lot of people think of vlogmas is like quite literally a vlog every day and I think it's I did more of like how Lauren in the books does where it's just a video every day so it's not always a vlog I did have three vlogs in there two weekend vlogs and tis a season a thon and then the rest were Christmassy themed sometimes not Christmassy themed um and I honestly thought that I was not going to make it 24 days. Like before I even started it, I was like, okay, Amy, you know yourself and you know that you tend to not follow through all the time on things. That is one of my worst traits. Um, and I'm well aware of it. So the fact that I've been on booktube for five years, five years, five is insane to me. But yeah, so the fact that I've been on here five years is crazy. The fact that I was able to get through 24 videos and I only was late putting one up one day. I still went up that day. It just went up at like 10 a.m. instead of 7. Um, my friend Jamie in Philadelphia, who is just one of my biggest supporters and one of my best friends, texted me at like 9.30 and she's like, where's my new video? And I'm like, Sorry, I didn't I didn't get it up yet. Uh, I was trying to get it up at 7 a.m. every day. Uh, so I got it up at like 10. But it was still up that day. And um, I was really proud of myself. I honestly was. When I got to the end, I had I, I had managed to, to schedule and film and edit and still work from home and still spend time with Scott and still read. I probably wouldn't have been able to do any of those things and have any social life. So it's a good thing that I can't see any of my friends right now. So that's going to be my new thing I did and favorite thing I did. Have no idea if I'll do Vlogmas again next year. I think I've proven I can do it. Um, whether you guys would want me to do it, if it was interesting enough for you, or if I just want to do like some week-long vlogs, like just kind of be vlogging the whole month and do like on the weekend, you know, post a vlog or whatever along with my regular videos. Could do something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's all for my December favorites. So we have the X Talk, we have the Undoing, we have cheesy Netflix romantic movies. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you made it this far in this video, give me the 100% emoji. You know the one, the red 100. Uh, put that down below. Uh, cause you're hundred percent my buddy and, uh, <laughs> give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more book talk. Bye.